Lucid Spark tutorial for beginners step by step. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily use this virtual whiteboard called Lucid Spark. Basically it's pretty easy, we can use it for free. So here we are on lucidspark.com, let's click on sign up for free. And as you can see, we have like different plans. We can continue with a free plan. It includes like three boards, unlimited shapes, and also free hand drawing and emoji reaction. If we want to have an unlimited editable boards, we need to buy like individual plan, $7.95 per month. So basically it's pretty cool that we can start for free and after that we can decide is it necessary as for us to buy the paid plan. So we can continue with our Gmail account, as for me this is a pretty cool feature. And here we are on our homepage, as you can see in top of the screen we can find different documents through search, we can manage like to the list view, to the sort them by something, where we can find also like our account information, go to account setting, we can upgrade, and in the left side there is the option to uh, create a new document, to find recent documents, to find all the documents, to find our trash, uh, shared documents here, all the templates. As you can see, we have a lot of different templates we can easily use. And we also have like integrations. They have a lot of apps integrated into Lucid Spark, so Asana, Cloud App, Canvas, Confluence and so on. So basically it's pretty cool. If you'll go back and we'll click on plus new, we can easily create a Lucid Spark blank board. We can create from template or we can import board from the other program. So let's click on blank board and we're going to create just a new board from scratch. We can easily add different templates here. So don't be scared. As you can see in the left side, there is like option to interact with our board so we can add different templates so we can go here find something which is suitable as for us figure out, for example this mind map so we can just simply create new board with this map or we can insert into templates so as you can see it was successful edit now we can scale we can manage every single element and so on also we have like navigation here we can just click on select option we can move if you'll choose the hand, as you can see. Also, we have the option to add a text. So basically just add it right up here and then just type something. So let's do it a little bit later. We can add different sticky notes, for example, this here. So pretty cool. Also, we can add a text, make it as a link, add some reactions and so on. Add different shapes, for example, like rectangle, oval, and a lot of in other shapes. Pretty cool. Just simply click here and then just uh, create it on our board. Also, we can add different lines, different errors. Uh, we can add frames if we need. And we can also add the images like GIFs, emojis, icons, and so on. Sometimes it could be easy as for us to maybe to explain our thoughts with these images also we can like draw something if you'll change the color we can easily draw something here basically as for me it's pretty cool and also we have like timer option and a voting option and there is like Kajira integration and if you click on more we can also find a lot of different tools like select text, sticky notes, basically everything is right up here. And also some additional like lucid cards, timelines, timer voting, organize, breakout boards, notes, laser pointer, and so on. So sometimes it could be hard to find them. You can find them right up here. Also, we can share our project, this board with our team, for example. We can click on share and then just add something through email, through link, through join ID. So sometimes it could be really, really helpful. So if we are going to interact with our board, you can see that every single element is customizable. So we can change every single part here. So for example, if we need to change this line, we can just simply change the uh, parameters. All we need to do, we can change swap the line, like endless and so on, make it as an error and a lot of different stuff. So we can also add a few more like templates, for example, these like decision tree or something like this, we can insert and then just paste it right up here. So sometimes it could be really, really helpful. Let's try to use like uh, something, let's try to create something by our own. 
So firstly, I'm going to create maybe a rectangle here and I'm going to build it. So uh, from this page, we can easily change the background color. We can change the uh, like borders. We can add the text. So for example, we can write something here. For example, I don't know, four plus four plus three. So sometimes it could be like a math test or something like this. Basically, now let's add some errors, for example, from here. And also, I'd like to add error to error uh, like, like this here. So the next step, we can also add like a few more like rectangles or ovals. Let it be the ovals maybe, like this. And also, I'm going to duplicate it and add it right up here. So here, for example, we can add maybe some answers we can write like 10 or it's equal to maybe seven so basically we can make it larger looks like this and uh, also like this so basically these are the ways of how can you interact with our port i think it's pretty cool and if we'll go back to our uh, document page we can find that this board was successfully saved here so from this page, we can easily open. If you click on more, we can rename, duplicate, cut, copy, move to trash, show details, manage attributes. We can also share, get the link, add to start it and some more options. So basically, these are the main options of Lucid Spark. Basically, just a simple whiteboard. If you're going to discover the paid plans, we can see that there is like uh, individual plan and also team and enterprise so basically if you are an individual and you want to buy you can find the differences instead of a free editable uh, lucid spark boards you'll have the unlimited instead of i uh, will also have like one gigabyte of storage presentational mode is available as for us color and sort so basically i think that it's necessary to try it for free and after that, we can easily uh, decide is it necessary as for us to buy the paid plan. It's not that expensive, so sometimes it could be really easy to, uh, you know, afford it as for us. Because with the help of this whiteboard, we can easily uh, find a lot of helpful stuff, create different like shapes to make it easier to work with our team. Uh, make it easier to manage our products, to find some new ideas and so on. So this is a way of how can we interact with Lucid Spark. Hope guys this video helped you out. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.